Cody is an AI assistant which gets attached to your editor. And by editor, I mean your code editor like Visual Studio code. And then as you write code, it can suggest you better, better coding style or even it can write code for you. It can find and also explain the code. Cody uses a combination of large language models. And then also because it is from Sourcecraft company, it also uses a Sourcecraft search and also the Sourcecraft code intelligence to provide answers that eliminate any human programming toils. You can think of Cody as your programming buddy who has read through all the code in open source, all the questions on Stack Overflow and all your organization's private code and is always there to answer questions you might have or suggest ways of doing something based on your prior knowledge. I have another video where I explain in detail what Kodi is and how to install it on VS Code. When I installed the extension of Kodi on VS Code and when I tried to run it, I was facing the following error, which is Kodi.chat and then it uh, said to me that error record while loading you Kodi.chat. So I reached out to Kodi support and they suggested to um, upgrade the Kodi because they thought this has to do something with some of the paths. So let me update this extension and then see if this error goes away or not. Okay, in order to update this extension, first on the left hand side, go to the extensions and then search for Kodi. As you type it, it will show you the codes. So this is the Kodi and as you can see, there is an update button with it. Click on update. Now it is in the installing mode. Shouldn't take too long. So it's a small extension. It's pretty straightforward and fast. I'm just waiting for it to finish updating it, which includes downloading the new binary and then installing it to my VS code. I will pause the video and then come back when it finishes installation. Okay, okay, so it has finished updating it, the Kodi extension, and it has also reinstalled it. And then it asked me to reload the VS code, which I already have done. So now let's try and running the Kodi to see if it works or not. So I'm clicking on the left hand side on Kodi. Now, as you can see, it is it has opened the Kodi console on the left hand side. It is also asking me to update it um, to accept the uh, terms and conditions. So I clicked on accept and then it is asking me the access token and source graph instance. I already have described in other video what source graph instance is and how to use access token. So and I'll put the link to that video in the uh, below in the video's description. So I hope this was useful. Please subscribe if you haven't already because I'm going to do some artificial intelligence um, on some of the code with the help of Cody in the next videos. Thank you.